I think Miss Bala is a movie about this ordinary woman that becomes extraordinary through the sheer power of her will, you know, and her own strength going through every adversity uh, imaginable and uh, saving herself. I think Lino, I mean, Lino impacts because he starts the search. He's the reason why he has to search for Suzu. Um, but also through through his uh, their relationship, I think uh, Gloria is able to see uh, the intricacies of the world which uh, that's moving everything. You know, she, she's able to get a, a first glance that not everything is what it seems. I think Lino plays, uh, I think that the way that I see it and the way that he sees it is that he does what he has to do. So he's less of uh, thinking of himself as two different people, but being a person that is just ready to make the decisions that he has to in order to uh, arrive where he needs to arrive. I think family. I think it's the strength and the resolve to uh, uh, make right by her family. And she expresses her love for Suzu and, and she says, you've always made me feel like family. You know, she's an orphan and this is all she has. And I think through the difficulties in her life, she's realized what's important and what is important is this woman and that family. Wow. I mean, I honestly, I couldn't think of anyone else. She is strong. She's a leader. She also makes the decisions that she has to in order to move forward. She's a person that is always ready to take the lead. She works harder than anybody else. She has the mental, uh, spiritual, but also the physical strength. You know, she boxes. She does Muay Thai. She can go head to head. I mean, we went head to head training all the time. We ran together. We did push ups together. We kept each other, uh, you know, in that top physical shape. We did our stunts together as well. Um, and I think she understands. Um, she's not. A, she's not a woman that is waiting for anybody to save her as well. She understands that she has to do it on her own, and that is just capable to do it on her own. Um, and yeah, that's Gina Rodriguez, and that's Gloria Fuentes. I think it's very important for uh, communities, uh, you know, when you're when you're making art and you're making uh, movies, when you're doing what we do, for communities to have a voice, the communities that are being represented. I think it's uh, it's not only important, but I think it's, I mean, it's it's obvious that if if you um, are telling a story of uh, Latinx people, the Latinx people should be the ones that are there providing authenticity. And I think one of the, the, the people, the things that people uh, keep responding to is the complexity of these characters and how uh, you get surprised and you see like so many things uh, about these roles is because they, we were influenced by the complexity of the voices and by the complexity of the Latinx community that was working. It wasn't just like one person representing all these people. It was 95% Latinx cast and crew, so the diversity impacts the, the, the richness of the story, and I think that's important. I mean, the city is so vibrant, um, but it's a place of, uh, of crossing, of transition. It's like a lot of exchange, you know, people go in and go out uh, to start their journey towards South America or to start their journey to the United States. So the level um, of cross-culturalism, uh, it's palpable. It's something that is completely in flux and it's its own, uh, its own thing, it's its own place. But also just the joy, you know, people have such great energy. People are resourceful as well, you know. It's the people that also knows uh, how to do a lot with little. You know, so so um, I think in, in, in what you see in the characters is authentic to the place as well. I think this, if people want to see, finally want to see a fully fledged, realistic, badass female character that is empowered, that is uh, takes um, takes charge in her destiny. I, I think people should go see this film. Also, if people want to support um, something, you know, historic of, you know, all these Latino leads, this cast, crew, female director, uh, making a film um, and seeing themselves represented and, and being good at it, you know, and having fun and, and 
I don't know if you if you want to really see see and support something special, you should go watch this film. Hundred percent. Like you should go to the movies because it's the best format to see this. The the explosions, the music, the even the intimacy, the intensity of the acting. Like you really want to hear it and see it and feel it. Many was at the screening recently, and um, I mean I I've seen the movie several times and I know what's gonna happen. But being there, you know, you feel you consistently feel like what's gonna happen. Like you're immersed by this entire world, and I think the audiences are gonna benefit like greatly from seeing it at the movies.